Hello guys, we're back with Red Dead Redemption 1, we're back with John Marston, we're looking for Mr. Dickens. Mr. West Dickens! Ah, Mr. Marston! How wonderful to see you, sir. How wonderful. Are we ready then? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, nearly, sir. Barely nearly, sir. I just need some cash to get some extra hardware fitted to my old Trojan horse here. You, you what? <laughs> Never mind, sir. I can only presume that you have not enjoyed the benefits of a classical education, so I will not take umbrage if some of my illusions sail over your head, sir. I won't pretend to understand you, but I will endeavor to make you understand me. Either we do this right now, or I put a bullet in you and get on with my day. Please, I knew you were a violent man, Mr. Marston, but I did not think you were a stupid one. We need money to outfit my carriage, to turn a simple tradesman's vehicle into something more subterfuge. <laughs> and I'm about to tell you how we are going to gain said cash. Now I know that you ride very well. So come, sir, to Rathskeller Fork. <laughs> Follow me, John! It's not too far to Ratskeller Park! Okay, so Mr. John Marston is very angry at Mr. Dickens. Okay, all things considered, hopefully we can get through today without running into another army of your satisfied customers. Onwards and upwards! I refuse to let the blind stupidity of the proletariat derail my calling in life. Nothing blind about it. I'd say they saw right through you. Ah, uh, before knowledge comes down, my dear boy. Everybody knows you're as crooked as a dog's hind leg, West Dickens. Oh my God. Okay, so Puma just killed my horse. Let's see if I can get a new horse. I can hear the puma. Oh, is there a wolf? Okay, a horse should arrive. Quickly. Wow, this was something I wasn't expecting, but I guess this is life. You have to be ready. A puma kill my horse. Crazy. So let's see right now what Mr. Dickens is preparing. Line up in the stop position. Is this a race? Yes. Not a particularly Whoa. handsome bunch, are they? Gentlemen, this will be a fair race. No shooting, stabbing, cliff pushing, rock throwing, cactus grinding. Neck lassoing, setting fires, or other acts that causes the rider to unfairly lose his weight, or bleed heavily, or black out. Get yourselves ready, set, go! Okay. 
So we have a race on our hands. I'm really, I'm not a big fan of races in any video game, but let's do it. Seems interesting. Let's see if we can win. I don't know how close we are to the finish line. I have a bad feeling. Let's go. Is this the end? Is it possible that I won? First attempt. Wow. He came, he saw, he conquered. <laughs> what a fantastic spectacle, John. Let's take a moment to bask in the glory of our victory. Have we got enough money now? All right, all right, all right. Uh, yes, once Seth and Irish have furnished their side of the bargain, I think we should be ready. Quite a team we've assembled, don't you think? A bunko, a grave robber, and a drunk. How could things possibly go wrong? So I'm very proud of John. He won the race. Mr. Dickens got the money. And a very interesting mission. Nice race. And I'm guessing right now that everything, like, uh, I think this was the last mission with Mr. Dickens, the last favor for him. I think we're ready to attack the fortress Ford Minor, whatever the name Ford Mercer I think the name okay guys so please comment like and subscribe tell me what did you think about this episode see you next time